Scenario. A spring scale sits horizontally on a table and is attached via pulley to a hanging mast on the side of the table. Assume the spring and the pulley are massless, so it's an ideal pulley. What is the hanging object's inertial mass? This 100 newtons that displays here is not the inertial mass. The unit here is the newton, so this is a force, and the force that is doing the 100 newtons is the force of gravity. The inertia mass is referred to your m because the units for this is going to be in kilograms. The solution, you would set the force of gravity equals to 100 newtons. You know the variables that make up the force of gravity, mg, is equal to 100. Plugging in 10 or 9.8 for g, then divide by 10 to both sides. You should get 10 kilograms. The second question, what is what if this lab didn't have a spring scale but rather a force sensor or a force probe? How can that be used and where should it be placed to determine the object's inertial mass? Here's the answer. The force probe or the force sensor is going to be attached via a clamp onto the table. Once it is attached to the table via clamp, the force probe hangs vertically, which is the up and down direction. It, there is a hook that is attached to the hanging mass. As it gets pulled down, the force probe will record the force of gravity in newtons that is being pulled down. The last question, if the experiment didn't occur on the surface of Earth, how can a motion detector be used and where should it be placed to determine the gravitational field? To find the gravitational field, which is G, the object has to be in free fall. Okay, so the object is going to fall down. As it falls down in free fall, a motion detector, which is going to be right here, will record it. So you're going to place that motion detector on the side of the hanging mass and let the hanging mass fall down. It's going to go under free fall. The motion detector should be placed parallel to the line of the mass's falling path to record it. There you go.